Check this cantaloupe out, growing right on the fence. Looking pretty good. Hanging here. This is the first biggest one. We have some smaller ones here and there, but that one is pretty awesome. Of course, these are the mulchalized cantaloupes, where we actually took raw compost and threw them on. And they're doing well so far. We shall see how it works out long term. There's another pretty good looking one here on the fence. Yeah, not bad. I like to see that. See if the vines can support the weight. We've got some bananas that are coming in ready here. Uh, actually, some of them are getting chewed up. Got two stalks. I don't know if you could see them. Yeah, see the one in the back there? Some of those bananas are actually splitting. So I'm going to take these two down and let them ripen up where the bugs and the rats don't get them. A friend of mine came by earlier today and said, hey, you've got some bananas out there. So totally missed these because they're in a corner of our yard. And I've been doing too much riding and not enough wandering the yard. I'm going to take these suckers down. Now they're in grabbing distance. Yeah, pretty good bananas there, other than all the split ones. Not bad. These guys. Gotta get those too. Oh, what a beautiful mess. Now I just have to get the bananas out of there. Voila! Two stalks. This one's over ripe and split here, but it's actually good inside. It's a good banana, so we'll eat it. Some of these are just gonna be thrown to the chickens though, and I'll probably divide these green ones off and let them ripen in the kitchen. These guys can just ripen as a bunch. Hey, guess what I got for you? Hey, look at that, look at that, and look at that. Oh, come on back, you chickens. What do I got here? Hey, hey, have some bananas. Come on, ready? That's not working. Hey guys, you want a banana? Look at that, doesn't that look delicious? Where is it? Oh, my brain is too small. I can't find the banana you threw. It hurts my brain. <sighs> I'll find it eventually. Check this out. This is the inside of that big warty pumpkin. Rachel just cut it open and she's baking part of it for dinner. So we're gonna see how the flavor is. But as you notice, this has a huge seed cavity, which is not necessarily what you want in a pumpkin. You want thicker flesh and a smaller seed cavity if possible. And this seed cavity goes way back into the neck here, as you can see. So it's actually like a big, you know those eggs that you get at Easter and you know your mom would give you one of those chocolate eggs or bunnies and you would bite into it and then it would be almost all hollow on the inside and you'd be gravely disappointed. I mean, you appreciate the chocolate, but then there's so much hollow. We'll see how it tastes, because it may be vindicated. It smells really sweet, and I was told by the guy selling it that it's a very sweet pumpkin. But this is a little thin for what I'd like to see. I don't know if it's a characteristic of the variety or not, but we might be able to breed these and increase the thickness, or select ones that have thicker flesh, sort of thing we're looking for. If you don't want to feel all hollow inside, follow me at thesurvivalgardener.com and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos of pumpkins, sometimes where I'm wearing sunglasses.
porch and my finger works At least it works a little bit Well, it kind of works mostly Almost all the way Except when I try to stretch and play a C I can't 